Governor Cooper visited a federally supported vaccine site today that opened its doors in Greensboro. It's at the Four Season Town Center and it's going to be up and running for eight weeks. The FEMA Center will provide up to 3,000 vaccinations per day. In South Carolina, more than half of the state's population now eligible to sign up for the vaccine. The Palmetto State moved into the next phase of the vaccine process just this week. It's phase 1B and it expands elig eligibility to anybody older than 55 years and frontline essential workers, people like teachers and grocery store workers. But state data shows black and Latino residents are vaccinated at much lower rates than whites. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson joining us now with that story. Hesitancy towards vaccines is nothing unique to the pandemic. Health experts have been trying to overcome this for quite some time. Skepticism about the vaccine is widespread, especially in black communities, which have been greatly impacted by the virus. In the past six months, my family has lost so many family members to COVID. According to DHEC data, around 794,000 South Carolinians have started vaccination. About 500,000 are white. 115,000 are black. Rock Hill NAACP President Apostle Norma Gray says skepticism in the black community stems from years of trauma and broken trust. My mom was completely skeptical. I mean, and she remembers living in this city and she points out to me places that she could not go, water fountains she could not, her and her mom could not um, drink from. Right now, Gray is focusing on spreading the truth about the vaccine. She's put on several symposiums to rebuild trust by fighting fear with facts. It really got people thinking, what am I really afraid of? Rock Hill community and church leaders are also trying to ensure equal access, leading by example. They're less apprehensive because they're seeing some of the frontline leaders like myself who've had the first um, COVID vaccine um, that are not afraid and they're trusting the leaders that they have trusted um, this long way. State officials say they're working hard to make sure the vaccine is available to all underserved communities. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.